welcome to the second episode of Paint Fantastic Scenes with Nick. It told me to rotate my phone, so hopefully this is not sideways. So, this is an impromptu painting today. Actually, I'm going to do three paintings. This is something I've never done before. It's called hydro dipping. What hydro dipping is, is it's water transfer printing or immersion printing where I take a canvas and I spray paint the water. I have a, a tub of water right here and I would uh, spray paint it. I got uh, some red and gray and black and white. So yes, I'm doing hydro dipping, dipping uh, spraying water, a tub of water with spray paint and then dipping the canvas in and coming up with a real cool abstract design. This is considered decorative art or applied art. I think it's very abstract. It's different for me because when I paint, I paint landscapes and maybe some wildlife and I'm in control of that painting. If I, you know, I'm painting a tree, it's going to turn out how I want it. In this case, with paint on the water, it's swirling around and moving. So when I dip the canvas in there, it's going to be, it's going to turn out however the pattern is at that time. So it's really random and really cool. So actually how I got hip to this was my buddy, Tim was like, Hey, he sent me a video from YouTube of this guy doing hydro dipping. He said, Hey, maybe this is something you can try. And I thought, you know what? That looks pretty neat, so I'm definitely I'm going to try it. So, my lady and I went to Walmart yesterday, and we got some spray paints, and I have some canvases, and my dad helped me rig them up with some hooks, different things uh, on the back to, to dip them, I can hold on to dip them with. So, without rambling any further, I do have my paints shaken up. So I'm going to start spraying the surface of this water. I, I haven't even practiced this. I, I've I just saw it online. I'm like, okay, I'm going to set up uh, what I need. And speaking of what you need, if you want to try this, so I have a tote. It's a Rubbermaid a tote filled with warm water. Uh, it's warm because when I spray the paint on, which is, I'm using Rust-Oleum uh, Gloss Protective Enamel. This enamel paint is oil-based. So when you spray it on the water, the warm water, it'll keep it from drying so quick to where when I'm spraying my multiple layers and designs and stuff, uh, I have time to do that before it dries, before I stick the canvas in. So a tote with warm water, and it's filled pretty much to the top. Keep displacement in mind so you're not making a mess. Okay, so I have the spray paint, whatever colors you want. I got red and gray and black and white. Normally, I'd be wearing a mask because of the odors from the spray paint. But since I'm talking to you, I'm not going to do that, but I recommend the mask. Uh, I, gloves, always have gloves um, because I, I probably will get my hands in the water. I just don't want... The paint on my hands uh, and we also have I have some just split pieces of wood and these I'll use when the, the paints on the water to make a design uh, just by moving it through the paint and then I also have a, a paint can a uh, stir when you get paint and you stir the paint with and that is because when I dip the canvas into the water most of the spray paint will touch the canvas and stick to it but there'll be some around it and I want to move that paint away on all sides, get that paint away and just, I'm in the outside of it so I can toss it on the grass, but I wanna get all the excess paint uh, uh, out of the water before I pull the canvas up and show you the finished product. So, and then when that happens, I'm just gonna set it down this side up so it dries. I have some buckets out here, I'm just gonna set them on top of, and then we can do the next the, the next one. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. I've never, like I said, I've never done this, so I'm just following the instructions that I've seen online on YouTube. So, let's do this. Here we go. Oh wow, yeah. I'm gonna do this fairly quick. They've even recommended having somebody with you to spray for you, so this better not be getting on my GoPro. Oh well, I can always clean it. I'm just alternating between the colors. And I'm gonna, uh, as I do this, you'll see on the YouTube version that they, the colors kind of wash out to the sides. So I'm just doing layer after layer after layer here. So I can completely cover the water with paint. So once I have it completely covered, the surface, I'm gonna run the little sticks through them and make a design and you can also I've seen them bump the side it makes a really cool cool pattern so there we go oh 
yeah, it's uh, very strong, very strong scented, so. Definitely wear your mask. <laughs> This, uh, yeah, takes a lot of paint, so it's all good. It's fun. More gray. A little bit more. Much white. Y'all ready to see this here in a second? I am. I know that. All right. Oh, that's cool. Definitely check the YouTube version out to see what's happening here. Ooh, wow. Very awesome. That's drying already, so I'm going to go ahead and dip one. Here we go. You ready? Bum, bum, bum. Boom shakalaka. Look at that. Wow, man, that is so cool. Holy moly. That is neat. That is neat. I'm going to lay it upside down. I got a little bubble in it, so that'll, that'll come out when I lay it upside down. But, boy, check that out. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I appreciate you watching live. It's I, I can see people uh, uh, tuning in and commenting, but I'm too far away to read them. So I will read your comments later and, and respond to those and like them. I definitely appreciate them. Thank you. Um, and uh, if... Maybe you're catching this later after it's been uh, finished and posted to Facebook. I, I definitely appreciate it. So definitely appreciate any shares. Very awesome too. So uh, definitely appreciate you guys check out this full length version on YouTube with the this you know cut of what I'm doing, um, which will be later. I'll do that. I'll get that here sometime soon. So uh, yeah, and I definitely appreciate you subscribing to my my channel. That's awesome. Very much appreciate. It. I I love the local support and appreciate it. I can't say appreciate enough because I do, so. You guys are why I do this. I enjoy doing it and I enjoy making things for people that make them smile. That's uh, very fulfilling. So, I'm just randomly picking up cans and Rain them on the water here. Here, hopefully this sounds okay. I I went without the lapel mic today because if you watched me paint with Bob Ross a couple weeks ago, I totally knocked my camera over and that was not cool. So uh, yeah, no knocking the camera over this time. Just hope my lens on my GoPro is not fogged up with spray paint. So it is a little. That's what paint thinner is for, right? And careful cleaning Q-tips. I'm gonna try a little something different. I'm spraying this in. I'm gonna spray like in the corners and everywhere. Ba 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 ba. Put your paints in the right spot. Take a loose. Okay, trusty stick. Let's bang this tube again. That was so neat. Yeah, nice. I gotta hurry, cause I think this one's drying, so. Okay, all right. Next canvas. Moment of truth, moment of truth. Here we go. I kinda gotta press pretty hard to get that in the water, darn. All right. The paint stirs on the grass, so I'm gonna use this other stick here. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, nice. More red, but that's cool. Pretty neat. You can hang it this way, that way. Okay, on to the last one here. This is number three. Uh, uh, same thing, and we're totally uh, getting a, a different pattern each time we do this, so very cool. Um, if anybody has any suggestions or comments or wants to see a certain pattern or colors or you know just let me know and or if they're like my buddy Tim suggested this if you got something that you'd like to see me try I would definitely like to to try it so uh, and because yeah, there's always cool neat new things to try so I'm just doing red and black right now 
Well, this is fun. This is really fun. I mean, spray paint's not too much. What? About four dollars a can. Well, I like that red and black. But you know what? Use some gray. How about no white this time? Yeah, no white, no white. Red and gray and black. Okay. Ooh, white, didn't want that, but oh well. Screw it. Okay. Here goes nothing. Let me shake this a little bit. Ooh, nice. Very beautiful. You know what? In the center there, I want some more black and gray. There we go. I don't want a concentration of one color. All right. stick here. Let's move this around a little bit. Nice. Very beautiful. Oop. That's going to be thick. I don't want that. Put that off to the side. Awesome. Alright, last one. Here we go. Ooh, I think I just got paint on my sunglasses. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I was like, yeah, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I don't think I can screw this up. It's kind of easy to screw up a landscape, but like when I say I, I, you know, I have control over it, and make it look how I want. Yeah, most most of the time, but um, definitely more control over that because because this is just totally random. I mean, I'm spraying this, the paints in the colors I want when I, you know, but they're just once once they hit the water, they're doing their thing, you know. So I'm just, I'm just like uh, that's different for me. It's good to expand my horizons here for anybody to expand their horizons, I guess. Yeah, try new things. It's fun. That's the point of my rambling here. So, Oh, that's my best one yet, I think. That's really cool. That's really cool. Look at that. You like that? So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Paint Fantastic Scenes with Nick. I don't necessarily know if it's a scene, but it's definitely a, a cool piece of abstract art. I think with my future hydro dips, I'll make them more uh, scenery-esque as far as uh, um, sunsets and... I don't know. Shoot, we'll see if we can put some trees and stuff in there, like make some patterns with, with greens and stuff like that that has sort of like an abstract landscape look. That'd be pretty cool. So, yeah. So, I appreciate y'all tuning in today. Thanks for watching live. If you're catching it later, thank you too. Definitely appreciate your your likes and your subscribing and you know your big thumbs up with some me by likes and you know and if you want to know when I'm posting new videos, just click the bell notification icon there on YouTube and you'll know when I post a new video such as as of this more hydro dipping and more more landscapes and i've also been reviewing some products uh, some rembrandt oil colors uh all kinds of stuff so all, all in the pipeline for for youtube and facebook for all of you that enjoy what i'm doing here so thanks for tuning in today i love you all take care peace